I want to talk about um, what type of crimps you should use when you're rigging and making rigs up with stainless cable, okay? Over the years, we get quite a few people come in with their tackle. They want us to re-rig it or, or just uh, fix what they've done and so forth. All right, now this, here's some samples of some of the things that people have brought in, okay? And it amazes me how many people bring in cable that they've crimped with an aluminum sleeve. I mean, as you can see what happens here, it just starts to corrode in a very, very short period of time, all right? because you have two dissimilar metals. You've got the aluminum crimp and you've got the stainless cable, okay? Mixed with the salt water, all right, this is what's gonna happen. And here's some different examples of it. This was only rigged uh, like this and it was in the water for like, you know, once or twice, that was it, all right? Here's another one, okay? You could see how badly, you know, it's, it's corroding and it's gonna to get to the point that what happens is it's gonna break apart. You can see this, this one half of the crimp, this is the other half of the crimp, okay? And it just gets to the point where it's just no good anymore. You're gonna lose a fish, you're gonna lose your dredge or whatever it is you're working on, all right? Now, just you cannot use, and I can't stress it enough, you can't use aluminum crimps with stainless cable, okay? However, you can use brass um, in different styles. Um, and I had copper here, but I don't know what I did with it, but you could use copper as well, okay? You can't use aluminum, okay? Um, that's just the way it is, you know? It's simple, and just save yourself, you know, the uh, the tackle and whatnot, you know, because you're eventually going to lose it, you know? And as I said, you can wash this, clean it, dry it, and everything else. That's not going to stop the corrosion right here because of the electrolysis.